hi guys welcome to my channel so i'm going to go ahead and do a general tarot card reading for all zodiac signs i hope you guys are doing well so let's see what the energies are coming in we're at midweek what are the energies coming in for all zodiacs for love love reading for any zodiac or person that needs to see this aries through pisces what are the energies for love coming in Wow, so we have the energy of Hierophant, Taurus energy, very, very spiritual marriage. Look at this, marriage proposal, a king of cups and the Hierophant. Okay, so it could also be that some of you are already married and someone is going to show you compassion, love, deep feelings, expressing their deep feelings towards you. King of cups is water, which is about feelings. So the king is somebody who comes in and takes action on their feelings. The Hierophant is the energy of tradition, spirituality, traditional relationships, traditional situations. So let's see what else is coming in. This is definitely something very big because the Hierophant has to do with, um, you know, commitments because it's not like a piece of paper, it's actually like a spiritual commitment. Okay, so I got here the energy of a Knight of Wands. Fire energy rushing in, fire in motion. Okay, so it could be any Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It could just be a person who has very, very strong feelings very strong emotions backed up by drive power force the energy of the fire within okay so what's in the past energy here two of wands a spark that starts to develop so you first have the Ace of Wands, then it starts to develop into more, which is the Two of Wands. All right, what's coming in for all signs, for love, Aries to Pisces? Okay, some of you are in separation or feeling a sense of mental pain or sadness or loss. Now, there could be a Scorpio coming in towards you. Okay, what's coming into the future? Energy for love. Nine of Wands. Energy of commitment. The warrior who never quits. Wow, so we have here the energy of justice coming in for you. Fairness, equality, a just and fair decision, the sword and the scales, equality, um, something is balancing. It's the energy of Libra, which is partnerships that are equal and balanced. Could be some of you are going through a very stressful divorce. Okay, Ten of Wands is in the environment. Somebody is physically tired. They're very tired here of a battle or they've been in a situation that they're physically exhausted so you're wanting an awakening or you're wanting someone to have hanging man your fear could be this too you could be afraid that you're stuck in limbo um, it's a temporary pause to reflect and see the situation differently. So what is going on here for all signs? Wow, an eight of cups. So it's the energy of walking away, um, putting, you know, walking away from pain. Okay, so what do we have here for the three of swords? Okay, so we have here the energy of 
Some of you have someone who's coming in towards you who wants a committed relationship with you because somebody is refusing to give up on you. You are in a situation where you know you feel separated from this person. You feel like you're not connected to anyone, maybe. Three of Swords can be very lonely feeling. Um, you know, it starts in the mind where there's a lack of connection. So this energy of commitment and love is coming in with this person who has very strong feelings, deep emotions, Scorpio, with fire. So they're coming in with passion. Eight of Cups is the outcome. What is the Eight of Cups? The victory here. So some of you have to walk away in order to feel better. You have to walk towards someone else, maybe. What is the Ten of Wands? Wow, so there's somebody here who is um, going through a shadow period. They're going through a dark night of the soul where they're dealing with their own dark energies. Um, they're trying to carry everything, but they're dealing with maybe addictions. Um, could be anything that has to do with control. Wow. Okay, so final outcome here. I have an Ace of Cups and the Star. So there's a new potential for love that would bring you um great hope where you can sort of put the past behind you here with the star the ace of cups is new water new emotions new feelings and it gives you the feeling like you can put something under the bridge like water under the bridge and now i have hope for the future okay the person around you is going through this dark night of the soul um it could be that you're going through a divorce from someone who is quite negative. You know, maybe they're, maybe they have addictions or a drinking problem or something like that. Now, this Knight of Wands comes in with motion, so they're on the move. The crossing energy. There's somebody here who wants a commitment. What is the Knight of Wands? Why is Knight of Wands right here? Ooh, so you get new communication, new information. The sword and the eagle. So this is about something new that's very successful. Um, something new that brings you new information. What is the Ace of Swords? What is the Ace of Swords? Wow, High Priestess, Intuition, Spiritual Connections, Psychic, um, Wisdom, Connecting to the Other Side of the Veil, Connecting to Angels and Spirits, Connecting to, this is this very spiritual connection, because it started off with Hierophant, which is traditional spiritual commitments. Justice is over here, which means something feels unfair to you. Three of Swords would be your heart is feeling broken due to not connecting with someone. Someone else here, you could be summoning someone to come towards you through your energy or prayers. And an Ace of Cups arrives. So what is this Ace of Cups? What is this Ace of Cups? What is the Ace of Cups? All signs. An Ace of Coin. So a new potential that is real. It's tangible. It's real. It can turn into the Oak Tree here. So it can turn into this Ten of Coin. Wow. And then it has the Empress here. The energy of Venus. Abundance. And... Um, you're walking towards something much better than this devil and ten of wands. Somebody who's weighed down by a lot of problems. We have eight of swords. Some of you could feel like you're in the illusion that you're trapped 
It's just an illusion. You're not trapped. Not Seven of Pentacles. Let's see. Well, I'm going to pull out a couple of Oracle cards. This is for all signs. This is for love. I have the energy of blessed came out. Oh, and it's master number 22, which is about partnerships, harmony and partnerships. Okay. You won't believe this. I got 22 again. This is something very, very special. Whoever is seeing this reading needs to see this reading. So it has to do with twin flame, soulmate, um, you know, someone who is a partner. They're a balancer. They're the water to your fire or the fire to your water. Um, look at this. Like, this doesn't even happen for me, like, very often. 22, 22. Blessed and yin and yang is coming in. A blessed union, a blessed partnership. The word of value is on the bottom, number 31. Okay. I'm going to leave it here for you guys. Um, I wish you all the best. Thank you so much for watching my channel. Please check out my website, starseed1111.com. Check out my shop for my new jewelry or my services. Thank you so much and take care.